Today I will review Freya the Crescent story. The beautiful packaging, I got the matcha flavor and then uh, prosciutto and cheese. Prosciutto and cheese I will already rebake here. Warm and nice, and then if I open the package, you will see this much of flavor. I will show you in detail. You see this much of flavor. This prosciutto is, I think this is uh, available every year round. This is my first time to try this one. For well, this matcha is available only for in winter. So this place, I think it's open about a couple, maybe two, three years ago. This place is set like the Crescent story, so it's only for Crescent. But to be honest with you, it's very expensive, especially in Hungary. So this one is about three dollars, where you can get the uh, I would say cheese croissant around a couple of dollars. If even like artisanal um, bakery, you can get about two dollars. And um, of course. A lot of bakers don't really have much flavor or something like that, but this one, this matcha, it cost me about seven dollars. It's close to seven dollars. It's really expensive. I haven't gone back to Japan for a while. I miss some like you know matcha flavor, so I decided to pay extra money this time to try this matcha flavor as well. Okay. So let me review this one first. Okay. okay. So let me try this prosciutto and cheese croissant. You see all these nice layers of question. It's really cheesy. It's the croissant itself is really nice and crunchy, buttery flavor. It's good. It's just so expensive. Okay, so this is the matcha flavor. So white chocolate glazed, uh, and then the matcha cream is inside. So let me slice it first. Yeah, I just slice it so you can see this matcha cream. I'm not really a big fan of the white chocolate, but this is the only option that I can get. So let me try. It's a very subtle 
my chocolate bar. The white chocolate is a little bit stronger side, so if I eat with, you know, the white chocolate and matcha cream, I can't really, it's really hard for me to even taste matcha flavor. Very, very light. I like it, but I wanted to have more strong matcha flavor, like dark, um, a little bit like bitterness, um, more adult taste of uh, um, matcha flavor that I was looking for, but so it's good. You can see again all this. Nice layer of pastry. So. Okay, let me enjoy this. But again, um, this is located a little bit, it is still city center, but from the major city center, maybe it takes about 15 minutes by walk or 20 minutes by walk. Um, but you may want to try. Um, it's a little bit more expensive side, but if you want to go to this store over the weekend, I think they will close. They usually close at 2. By 11-ish, a lot of crossing flavors are gone, so you may want to uh, show up, wake up a little bit early uh, and grab some uh, crossing. And they usually have like five, six, maybe five to seven, eight flavors, depending on day, uh, if I remember correctly. So you can follow their Instagram to see which flavors are available on that day. Again, even if you go early, you may miss some of the flavors. They may make more during the day. Um, even the flavor is gone, I don't know, but uh, you can try that. So when you come to Budapest, you may want to try some unique croissant as well. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Thank you. Bye.